Um, he was born in 1890. Um, his name, he was now Pevsner. He was the younger brother of Antoine Pevsner. And Antoine Pevsner was also an artist. And there were a couple other brothers in there. And uh, when, uh, um, when Gabo decided that he wanted to focus on artwork, he gave himself the name Nam Gabo so that he wouldn't be associated, because he was very close to his brother, but he, didn't, he wasn't associated with them. One of the things that I think is interesting about his process is that, so he's a philosopher, he's like a physics, biomedicine dropout guy, right? He starts painting, he starts doing flat work that no one really cares about. It's like, it's fine. He's got a brother who has a more successful art career. He goes to Norway, as he says it, he starts swimming in the fjords, he gets some quiet, he gets some safe time, and he starts thinking about mass. And how do you represent mass in a plainer fashion? There's a lot of invention happening at this time in terms of materials and in terms of just different uh, manufacturing processes. So he basically suddenly turns his corner and starts making these cubist inspired pieces that are profound. Like they seem, they're, they're, uh, they're, real, they're beautiful. And that was really just him thinking how, why do we have to, why do we have to have mass and volume describing this piece? Why can't we start thinking of it in terms of planes? He sought to make the space occupied by an object visible without enclosing it. Inner space was an example of what Gabo called the constructive idea, where the boundaries between the object and the artist's perceptions of that object were dissolved so that art becomes reality. Whatever, you know, again, like one of the things that I was just interested in, like looking at this language and looking over the course of a long life and thinking, looking at the development of the work that he did is that it's really again and again about material and about space and about representing space and mass and describing this thing, um, this work, in a new way.